Now Sports with News Channel 7's Noah Manderfeld. Our 63rd edition of the News Channel 7 Football All-Stars is the first edition after Mark Zelich's passing. Z started honoring area high school athletes back in 1961 because he wanted something special to recognize the talent the area has to offer. In the 63 years since, thousands of high school athletes have been honored in both basketball and football. Tonight, 25 more will be added to that list thanks to Z. Let's start with the offensive All-Stars as voted on by the coaches of North Central Wisconsin. The talent in Central Wisconsin was on full display around the football circuit this season, but only 13 stand out above the rest as offensive football All-Stars. Let's start with the gunslinger at quarterback where Wittenberg Burnham Woods Nathan Wabkini used much more than just his arm. He had nearly 1,500 yards in the air with 17 passing touchdowns. Oh yeah, he added 700 rushing yards on the ground and 13 more touchdowns. He was first team CWC large all conference. At the wide receiver position, the fastest man on the gridiron in North Central Wisconsin might be Keegan Jershley. The receiver had 818 receiving yards and nine touchdowns in the air. He also ran for 371 yards and nine more touchdowns. He was the Great Northern Conference Offensive Player of the Year. Next to him is Stanley Boyd's Madden Marr. With over 1,100 receiving yards, Marr was a nightmare for opposing secondaries. Of the team's 21 passing touchdowns in the year, he accounted for 14 of them. He was first team all clover bound. At running back, also on an all-conference team with Stratford's Kohler Kilty. He was the CWC Large Offensive Player of the Year with 1,900 rushing yards. He added 20 touchdowns. Edgar's Carter Butt was right with Kilty's pace, rushing for nearly 2,000 yards. He also bulldozed his way into the end zone 36 times including accounting for a D7 record five in the state title game. He was the Marywood Offensive Player of the Year. Rounding up the backs is Wausau West's Ray Reinick. He was slowed by injury midway through the season, but he was dominant when he was on the field, rushing for 871 yards and 14 touchdowns in seven games played. He was first team VFA. Part of that is thanks to Wausau West Bryce Jaworski, who was our all-star at tight end. He was utilized in multiple ways, helping Reinick in the blocking game and adding 107 receiving yards in four games played. His season was cut short to a knee injury. He was unanimous first team all VFA. The guys in the trenches are the backbone that keep the offense going. Starting off our line is Edgar's Harrison Gravine, who helped Carter Butt to his 36 touchdowns. Gravine was unanimous first team all Merrillwood. Matt Wittenberg, Burnhamwood, it's hard to miss the big body of Charlie Nowinski. The center was one of the most fearsome linemen in our area. The Chargers had over 27 rushing yards behind him. He was first team all Merrillwood. Wausau West also boasted a loaded offensive line with Tegan Isham Her leading the way. The Warriors rushed for over 21 rushing yards behind him. He was named all VFA for his efforts. Joining him on that team was Spash's Brendan Club, who was a unanimous selection. He took the lead on the offensive line and the Panthers averaged 194 yards per game on the ground and 158 yards per game in the year. Last but certainly not least is Zane Amershek of Lakeland Union. He makes the offensive line calls and led the unit to block for a rushing attack that had 4.7 yards per carry. He was first team all Great Northern Conference. And in the position that can make or break a game, the kicker and the coaches have selected DC Everest Gabe Goldbach. He was eight for 11 on kicks and 27 for 31 on extra points. Congratulations to the 13 2023 News Channel 7 Football Offensive All-Stars. We are only halfway done with this year's All-Stars. Tonight at 10, we'll unveil the 12 on the defensive side.